Islamists attack yoga retreat in the Maldives. This story is crazy. On June 21st, a radical Islamist mob stormed the Maldives' national stadium to intimidate and attack people participating in an event called the Yoga Day. The event was organized jointly by the Indian High Commission and the Maldivian government with more than 150 participants, including officials representing the governments of India and the United Kingdom. Islamic protesters invaded uh, Galolhul National Stadium, chased and attacked the participants, and vandalized the property. A few hours before the event, two Islamic activists called a quote-unquote peaceful protest in front of the stadium. After some provocative speeches, the mob broke through the police barricades and entered the stadium and began pushing and hitting the peaceful yoga practitioners. A group of roughly 50 men, led by Sheikh Adam Misham and Sheikh Fazlun Muhammad, two well-known Islamic scholars in the country, stormed the event, waving Islamist flags and banners and running through the field, shouting Allahu Akbar. Amazing. That's crazy. I have so the wait, footage, play, I... play this footage. Okay, something is wrong with this footage, and there's like a weird green screen effect going on. But okay, one thing to watch before we hit play is that there are a lot of people just sitting there as an Islamist mob proceeds to charge the field. And I'm like, why are you sitting there? Freaking get up and run. Like I would be moving so fast, but they're just like continuing to chill on their yoga mat. I was shocked. It's, it's <laughs> Anyways, because let's watch this. because they because they're yoga practitioners. They're too calm. See, this they're is so the harm. This is the problem with yoga. It just works too well. You're just so ch it makes you so chill. Then even if an Islamist mob is coming to at you, you just <laughs> sit there calmly looking at it until you're dead. So don't do you don't do too much. Do yoga in moderation. <laughs> This is too much calm, okay? You have to be running at this point, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, let's watch this. Wait, I need to unmute. Maybe you should describe it to the people who are listening at the, at the podcast. Or... Okay, so if you're listening and you don't have visuals, they're like a group of people in rows sitting on yoga mats. And then from one corner, oh, a this huge guy. group of men comes flooding through. They have flagpoles. They start screaming. They start about like hitting people, hitting people with the flags. Look at yeah, and they're not even like the Maldivian flag. These are clearly Islamist flags. Okay, okay, I have to comment on this part. This Hold is on, freaking crazy. Can... No, no, the this the okay more crazier. Okay, it's crazy that an Islamist mob is attacking a whole bunch of yoga practitioners, okay? But the crazier part is this guy. This guy right here is crazier than the mob, okay? Because he's watching a mob coming at it, at them, and he's, like, getting up, but he's like, let me get my mat. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, he's, like, getting his mat, like, dude, run. There's a mob. At, there's an Islamist mob coming at you. He's collecting. No his one yoga cares mat. about the yoga mat. Freaking book it. <laughs> Look, he's like, okay, let me. And he, wait a second. He wanted to roll it like, <laughs> like my mat. I have to get my mat. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with you guys? Run. Okay. Ah, uh, Babak is asking a very good question. Babak is asking, why is yoga haram? Well, according to these people, it's because when you do yoga, you are bowing to the sun. That's what they're, that's like what they were saying in part of their speeches to like rile people up. They're like sun worshipers. They're bowing to the sun. I mean, yeah, it's absolute nonsense. Hindu, and it comes I mean, from Hinduism. Yeah, it's so. a Hindu practice. And well, I mean, yoga is a lot more than the, the stretching effects that we know we associate with yoga. It is like a Hindu ritual. A lot of us think it's just stretching, but it's a Hindu, like there's a lot of, there's a lot more to yoga than it's a way anyways it's a religious practice so that's why yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um 
no okay but this comes up with this there's other stuff that's going on here like it's bigger than this so part of this has to do with obviously the maldives is a very islamized society okay so they were also furious about the recent blasphemy against the prophet muhammad so that was a big part of this like there were pictures of modi with a boot on his face like all over the place like posted on trash cans like huge outrage in the maldives but then the additional thing is that india and the maldives has in many ways a very friendly relationship in terms of like trade and some military support and stuff but domestically there is a huge anti-india movement in the maldives because people of certain parties feel that india is turning maldives into their own personal military base and so there's a huge india out movement hashtag india out movement that's going on in the um maldives partially pushed by the opposition progressive party who is actually like supporting a bunch of like very islamist like parties and policies and people um so you know the the what what may have led to this you know as there's many different levels there's like the initial oh my god yoga is haram and then there, there's also like the general backdrop of the global outrage to this you know insult to the prophet and the third thing is this general growing anti-India sentiment in the Maldives. And it, it led to this. What shocked me was that there were like diplomatic officials at this event. Like diplomats. Whoa. Like <laughs> from the UK, from India here at this event. And so the fact that this happened and there was a security breach like this is actually a huge deal. And now like the president has ordered an investigation into all of this because it was a huge embarrassment to them. You know who could use some yoga? Muslims could use yoga because I heard praying five times a day. Uh, it's really bad for your joints. Did you know that? <laughs> it is. What? <laughs> the way the way you do the sajda. Well, actually, this is the superiority of Hinduism over Islam, okay? Because Ooh, let's hear yoga, it. No, yoga has scientifically been proven. I mean, not the religious part of it, but the stretching part of it, okay? Has been scientifically been proven to be good. It's good for you, okay? Like, it's good for so many things, okay? And Islamic prayer has been proven to be bad for your joints, okay especially wow. the first the way that you you know you put your you bend your knee and you put your weight on your body right and by the way a lot of muslims don't know that when you're sitting on your knees you could like so, you know go lean sideways so that it reduces the pressure on your knees i mean it's still bad but it's like you shouldn't be sitting like that um on your knees with all the weight on your knees when you're like bending them like that so it's really bad and what could alleviate that issue is doing a little bit of yoga so maybe muslims should give yoga a little bit of a, a shot so again so th this is something that hinduism is better than islam but good for saying, your saying, yeah i love you so much i'll destroy my joints for you <laughs> <laughs> by the way there's a lot of there's a lot of um you know fake news by muslims saying that oh the islamic you know the way that you your body uh what you do with your body during the prayer like the positions that you have uh is actually has been proven to be good for you it's oh look as long it is scientifically good for you because it does this and that and that's completely wrong it's actually bad for you especially when the fact that you do it five times a day it's really bad for your joints in fact as a Muslim, if you have joint problems, you should, it's Islamically, you're allowed to use a chair. So you shouldn't be doing a sajda or anything if you have joint problems. Use a chair and just pray on a chair. Anyways, there are some comments here. Forever Stormy is saying, he paid $10 for it, Armin. <laughs> <laughs> he paid $10 for that yoga mat. Right, no, yeah, and right, people yeah. are pointing out they should just say that it's a prayer rug. Oh, another thing yoga mats are superior to prayer rugs you know they are they are better for sitting on the floor you know the cushiony thing you know prayer rugs don't have that so in so many ways hinduism is winning over islam um, i hope all the people that call us islamist propagandists are taking note <laughs> this is this is just though. <laughs> oh you're right <laughs> i forgot you're right yeah 
All Whoever right. Stormy is saying Hindus attack Santa, Muslims attack yoga. These guys have no chill. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, Christians also, also attack yoga. Not in this way. You know those Christian moms who are like, don't teach our kids yoga. This is like pagan practice, okay? At yeah. least they don't form a mob and attack. <laughs> so... I, like imagine imagine this happening with christians it doesn't, yeah. they only do that to attack pride parades don't worry they, they do they don't have oh, christians no, that's formed, happened recently formed a mob and attacked did you not hear parade? about all the white supremacists they got nabbed at an, the idaho pride okay they are they are, they are white supremacists that's, they didn't do it in the name of religion. Yeah, but they're also like Christian nationalists. Like they sure. count as Christians. Sure. I don't think. Okay, if they were, if they, if I think there's a big difference in motivation between the, if they just happen to be Christian, it's different than doing that with the motivation mm. of Christianity. I think they're just bigots and homophobes. I disagree. I disagree. Okay. But this is oh. that's a different. That's a totally different topic. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.